All right, so first things first, uh, we want to make sure that we do meet with all the requirements that Apple uh, requested. So what we want to do is we want to click uh, where it says Apple Store. We click on it, and this window is going to open. As you can see, it's going to be on the main page, of course, because it just came out today. So you click on it. And we're going to go here where it says uh, my online support. Once we click on it, it's going to take us to a website. And let me close that out. And over here, we're going to click where it says get started. Please make sure that you read all the specifications that they require. If not, you will not be able to download the software. The reason why is because, of course, it's not going to work. Now, once you verify that you do have everything that you need, uh, you can go ahead and download it. Another thing that you want to do before downloading the software itself, you want to go on the le left hand side of your MacBook Pro or your uh, Apple computer and you click where it says software updates. You click on it and what this is going to do is going to check for the latest software update for your current version of the operating system, which is the OS, of course, Mount Lion. I'm sorry, uh, Lion itself, not Mountain Lion yet, because I haven't uh, installed it. So it's doing that. While it's doing that, uh, don't forget that I do have more tutorials of Apple product, uh, so don't uh, forget to subscribe. And, uh, yeah. If you do have any uh, video recommendations uh, as far as tutorial goes that I can do for you guys, please let me know. Write it on the comments. And this is done. So as you can see, there is no software update. Uh, I already knew that, but I wanted to show you guys how to install it properly. So you guys can see if I go to about. And this is the current software that I'm using and we're gonna head out to the Apple Store and this is what you're gonna see on the main page which of course they're advertising it like crazy so you click on it you hit purchase or buy There you go. You can see it's being downloaded right now. It's gonna take, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Hopefully it takes less than 20 minutes. All right, so after that it says, uh, until now ready to install, you have to hit restart. And of course the computer is gonna restart itself. So uh, see you in a minute. Just kidding. Alright, so I'm restarting the computer right now and it says that to install it is gonna take about 35 minutes or so. So on the meantime, what I'm gonna do for you guys, I'm gonna actually teach you guys how to learn salsa. This is a free tutorial. It usually is about fifty to a hundred dollars. So uh, I know you guys will appreciate it. So let's get started. Psych! No, I just playing with you guys. So let's go back to business, okay? Alright, so here we go. Uh, it finished downloading the software itself. It took about 38 minutes or so, which it wasn't that bad. So the first thing we need to do is we select continue. And this window is going to come out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and agree because there is technically nothing we can do. Uh, and it's going to ask you whether or not you want to install it on an external hard drive or the internal hard drive. Uh, I will install it on the internal one. Of course, if you have a external hard drive and it's partitioned, you can actually do it there. Um, but in this case, we're just going to go ahead and do that. So we click install. It's going to ask me for the password. And select OK. And here we go. Uh, it says it's going to take about three minutes or so. 
alright so once it's installed this is the main page that is gonna come up so what you need to do is you need to put in your Apple ID and your password uh, so let's get started with that after you key in your Apple ID uh, you're gonna uh, come to this window which is gonna be for the terms and conditions and of course we're gonna agree and it says set up iPhone so this is basically if you have any iPhone or any iOS device you can actually link that to your Apple ID so that way all your messages contacts and notes will be synced automatically this right here of course is if in any case you happen to lose your MacBook Pro and somebody finds it or they are connected to the Wi-Fi uh, you can actually use your iOS device and you will be able to find the last location or its current location so of course I'm gonna go ahead and allow that God forbid that doesn't happen to me but if in any case you can actually check uh, where its location will be uh, so of course we're gonna go ahead and allow that set up a system once you do and this is just to remember your uh, passwords says allow but always allow alright so thank you so let's see what we got it's finally installed so we're gonna head to the Apple logo or icon it's gonna be on your left hand side and we're gonna go to about this Mac so you guys can see it says version 10.8 so of course that's the new software that came out just so you guys can see on your right hand side you see this little uh, icon over here it's technically for notification center if you click you're gonna see all your notifications if you have iMessage your calendars or notes uh, shout out to my boy Lance aka Winnie uh, which is gonna be his birthday real soon uh, another thing that I'm gonna show you is uh, you're gonna see the notes that's something new uh, of, course, of course the reminders and if you go to system preference uh, you're gonna see the notification center option over here uh, so of course you can actually customize it uh, on how you want it to look uh, if you want just a banner uh, or on the side just like it is right now and if you have an iPhone 4 iPhone 4s or iPad 2 or anything installed with the iOS 5 you pretty much gonna be familiar on how it works I hope you guys like it thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and see you later